Time sure flies by, doesn't it? In a couple of months, we will be entering another season. Speaking of, Rick and Morty's sixth season is coming. Another whirlwind of intergalactic adventures with such an iconic duo. Besides, the last season finale was tough. For those of you that haven't watched season five yet, well, why haven't you? Well, beware of spoilers though. The Rick and Morty show introduces a sociopathic genius scientist, Rick Sanchez, and his faint-hearted grandson, Morty Smith, as they venture into the vast universe. When you think about it, the show's overall plot may have been overused for multiple sci-fi shows in the past, so what makes Rick and Morty different and unforgettable to the majority? Well, aside from the fantastic animations, the show also brings you the comedic relationship between the grandfather-grandson duo. In addition, the show has also talked about serious issues without invalidating any sides. Some have even enlightened another side of said issue. An example? The estranged connection between Morty's mother and Rick, her biological father. The show described Rick as a neglectful parent as he tried his best to reach the best version of himself, especially with his out of this universe, literally, intelligence. Now that I've given you an overall concept of Rick and Morty, let's finally talk about the sixth season, no? The sixth season is anticipated to return on Adult Swim in the fall of this year. However, the previous episodes of the show have seemingly shied away from grander plots and few of its original storylines, not to mention how the last episode of the fifth season had everything in shambles. In shambles, I tell you! With the sixth season around the corner, doesn't it make you more excited to finally, finally have answers to questions? For you to finally scratch that itch in your brain? Well, the upcoming release date of the season has given the avid watchers time to overanalyze the teaser. It has everyone all confused now with fan theories and what ifs. What really went down after the finale of the fifth season? especially with the multiverse created around Rick Sanchez, which, he designed himself, I might add, had been destroyed. What comes next? With the plot twist thrown our way, it left avid viewers thinking. What if, because of this version of the multiverse Rick Sanchez destruction, a multiverse wherein beings within said multiverse would be more innovative than Rick himself would open? Is anyone even smarter than Rick in the universe they know? Right now, there's none that we know of, and if ever the possibilities of the said theory came true, they are screwed. Screwed, screwed, screwed. It should not happen, and they better pray that it wouldn't. Rick Sanchez and his crazy ideas of smashing that like and subscribe button has an addition of crazy expenditures around the intergalactic universe on the show's past episodes had put their universe in a tight spot, a thread away from death itself a couple of times. And if that does not leave you with a trembling mess, like what Morty seems to do every episode, then there might be something wrong with you. Seriously, dude? No reaction? Alright. But back to what I was talking about. What do you think would happen if a whole multiverse would open that inhabits being smarter and maybe a bit more reckless with their intelligence than Rick himself? If I was a person inside Rick and Morty's universe, I would peace out. Gone for good. I'm not going through some disturbing things just because of some genius that's reckless enough to put the universe at stake. Not once, not twice, multiple times. Well, that's what fans are talking about anyways. However, there is also a possibility that this fan theory may not take place in the sixth season at all, as the chance of the finale not being explained fully or expanded this fall is still high. Nonetheless, the fifth season's finale left everyone baffled and smashing that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Second time. But additionally, also somewhat afraid. So in times like these, you would immediately look for answers. Heck, I did too. But then again, the show would not receive an Emmy Award for nothing as the show's production team sure bounced back for this season's plot. Or, well, that's what they promised anyway. On the 28th of July, Adult Swim released trailer videos that seemed to give fans of the show a glimpse of what the first episode, or the first few of the episodes of the sixth season, will be. 
The intergalactic venturing grandson, Grandfather Duo, is back at it again, as the network teased fans that the duo is, as the exact words from the teaser video, quote, worse for wear and down on their luck. Yes, the overall message given to fans through the teaser video might have been played off as a joke. However, not even I can deny that it was pretty apparent that the show could not just reset the first episode of the next season, nor the whole season, like what they've done in the past. Not with what they've done in the latest season finale. This only strengthens the idea that the next season will not be as carefree as the past seasons. This season could bring the fans the heaviest scenes yet within the entirety of the shows. Daddy issues may have been part of some episodes, or, well, all of the past episodes, with how Rick and Morty's mom's relationship is. <laughs> but this season? This season could bring your tear ducts for a run. Heavier scenes are expected, so prepare your tissues or something to battle against the tears. Bring beer if you like. It's better to prepare than pretend everything will be all fun and dandy. With the expected heavier scenes, the season will still have its usual funny and witty moments. The grandson-grandfather duo could still have their moments of silliness, you never know. With this, don't you feel intrigued about what will go down in the sixth season? Well, thank the gods that its premiere is not as far as you'd think. Believe it or not, fall's just around the corner. The sixth season of the show will premiere on Adult Swim on the 4th of September at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard. A Sunday that would bring you to your knees. It'll either be due to laughter or tears. Adult Swim offers multiple shows for the people to enjoy, but what struck them is Rick and Morty with their witty responses and, ironically, quite dumb conversations. Not only that, but the duo had also captured the hearts of many as they ventured into the intergalactic space as one of the best duos out there, with quite a unique combo. An estranged genius grandfather who was taken into custody by their child, and a fearful and almost always having a mental breakdown grandson? Yep, a unique duo like no other. That's Rick and Morty, all right. The fascination of the majority with the animated series paved the way for the show to renew its contract to continue until its 10th season. As the Adult Swim Network president, Michael Oweline said, the show had been a hit show and had impacted many, not only people in America, but globally. Dubbed by the president as a, quote, global phenomenon, Producers of the Emmy Awardee show aim to prepare for the sixth season, which the network president has called the, quote, soon-to-be-iconic season of the show yet. Let's fascinate ourselves with three of our favorite fan theories for season six. It is undeniable that alongside Rick and Morty, Gravity Falls is one of the best in its own category. This is part of the reason why a lot of avid watchers would like to see a finger-crossing type of hoping really, for the sixth season. Not to mention how some fans have allegedly seen Gravity Falls Easter eggs within some of Rick and Morty episodes. But again, maybe they're just missing the show. With Gravity Falls ending in 2016, it's really saddened everyone. Another fan theory would be how Evil Morty will potentially partner up with a stronger being to have Rick taken down. Not to mention the threat Evil Morty possesses, as it coincides with how great the hatred he has for Rick is greater than all of the villains shown within the series. And that's saying something, because there were a lot. Maybe Rick is the most hated person in the universe. In addition to the possible partnership of Evil Morty with, I don't know, a god maybe? The part where he was now outside the central finite curve had everyone shaking. Why? Well, Evil Morty hates Rick's guts. And if you hate someone that much, you would not sit around idly and stand back now, would you? And according to fans, that is what scares them. Lastly, would be how Rick has the potential to know that he was the one who dropped the bomb. The bomb that killed Diane and Beth, although fans have theorized that the death may be more tragic than what was already seen. And that would be in the sixth season. The up-and-coming sixth season of Rick and Morty will be exciting. Be prepared for one heck of an intergalactic ride. You will surely love these videos next! Okay.